believe it harder than the brightest sun What I got is a mountain Standing high above every other one I got heart, I got soul There's a power in me you can't control Alright, well, <clears throat> Yeah. It's first morning. Um, we pulled in what? Uh, this is the first time I ever else. So, <laughs> I can say that this time. Um, it's actually true. We left Friday at 6 p.m. or so, give or take. Uh, we got here at what 8:15 p.m. when we pulled in, set up camp. Mountain time. Mountain time. Um, had an interesting first night of sleep. If that's what you want to call it, although I did sleep like a baby, even compared to the way I sleep at home. Shane provided us with plenty of entertainment midnight. Um, I'll let him tell that story. But uh, I'm enjoying my first mountain house breakfast, and we're getting ready to get after it. So um, we're going to pack up our stuff, we're going to shoot our bows. Hopefully we don't lose any arrows, but I'm telling you something. We're prepared for the gold diggers here. The gold right, diggers here. Let's get after it. Let's get after it, boys. Oh. It's about 10.30 in the morning, so we should get in there for enough time for... An afternoon hunt here. Seven trucks at the trailhead. Yep. But hopefully we can just seven last night. We'll count them again here. Navigate around them. Yep. So public land. We're dealing with some other people. Should we get? We're gonna we're gonna get in there and find them. Yep. How you feeling, Shane? Ready. Go on. Shane's got the shades rolling. It's nice Sunny. and cool. Feels good. Sunny out here. We're gonna go get them. First bugle of the trip. All right, first split off. Matt and Fred taking the deep loop. Me and Shano taking the left loop. Fredo and my dad are working their way on the road. It's a little longer, but it's a little easier to trek. We're gonna go up, check out where these couple glassing spots are that uh, we're gonna split off to, and uh, maybe set up camp for the night. We'll have to see. How you feeling, Shane? Pretty good, man. All right. Good. We're working it up. Fingers crossed we don't get altitude sickness or anything like that, but if I do, I know Shano's gonna take care of me. All right, Shano? I feel like you would've like, got sick I think you're right. Here we go. All right, we made it to our first. Climbed up on the south facing. It's north facing. This direction. We'll show in a minute. So it took us about what, three hours to get in here. Yeah. That's rough. So we're gonna sit. We're gonna eat lunch. Take our shirts off. Let them dry a little yeah. bit. Uh, Ran into I, two boys from Maryland. Yeah. They're pretty cool dudes. Yeah. They're kind of trying to get rid of the usually an elevation dude. They were kind of flatlanders together. Some on my dog, got it fixed. Take care of that. Now we're gonna drop down somewhere on this north slope, do a couple sets, and uh, see if we can get day one. Good day. You getting up through here, Nick? Yeah. There's a helicopter. There's a rope ladder down. Come get me. <laughs> okay, it's about 6.45 on day one. It's Sunday night. Uh, we went about the opposite way of what we thought we were going to do today. Um, no, not much sign. A little bit of trails. Uh, it's getting dark here. And uh, we decided to get some water because we're running a little low. We haven't seen any all day. So followed Onyx, followed this stream down, found a pretty good spot. Um, Matches filled up. So we're going to fill up, 
fill up pretty much all our water, drink some stuff here, and then we're gonna head over that way, across this meadow. And that is where we're gonna camp for the night. It's about 500 yards away. So we are going to fill up water here and uh, start hiking over there. So I'll show you where our water, where we're getting water at here. All right, here's our packs. That's where we're getting water. Matt just filled up, filling up his bladder now. So we're gonna, gotta fill up a lot here. We're gonna get something to drink. And then we're gonna hike up to our camp spot. Here's camp for the night. Here's my tent. Over here we got Matt's tent. Got a, all my gear pretty much just thrown all over the place. So we're gonna, gonna make dinner here and uh, get some sleep. Probably get up pretty early. See if we can't hear anything bugling. MTV Cribs, Colorado Backcountry Edition. Got the boots inside. Go we'll put the insoles in our sleeping bag tonight. Try to warm them up. Sleeping bag, pillow, air mattress. Got the pack in here tonight. See how she goes. Just in case we might have some visitors tonight. That's it. All right, good morning. It's morning of day two. It is Labor Day oh, yeah. today. Yeah, it is. So happy Labor Day, everybody. Um, it's about 5.40, 5 or so in the morning. We got up about 4.30. Took us about an hour to pack up. Uh, plan for today, I think, is to continue on our loop. Drop down in and... Uh, Try to get a little lower and actually into those bedding areas and look for some sign. Yeah, we gotta find some sign. So no, not much sign yesterday. Uh, not really fired up yet. But, uh, haven't heard a bugle yet. And, uh, uh, checked hoping, in with those other guys and yeah, they haven't the seen or heard anything. I don't think. So. Yep, yeah, we're all in the same boat. No, uh, no action yet. So we're gonna get down in there today and hopefully have some action. Check in soon. Yeah. Peace.
came back west and we set up camp in a meadow that we had walked past. Uh, me and Shane came through yesterday and we smelled what we thought might have been a wallow. We weren't really sure so we just kind of came back and headed this direction for the night. Um, we started up the hill, the north facing slope, and we're seeing a lot, a lot of scat. A lot of scat. Um, so we'll see what happens. But we're going to keep going up here and uh, we'll give it a go. Shane Shooter, I'm the caller. So. Let's get her done.
time for our midday update. It's about 2.15 on Monday. And uh, we've been going through some errors we thought elk might bed. Little bit of sign, uh, mainly rubs. A couple tracks, not much. Uh, rubs look a little bit older. So uh, we did do one calling set, no luck. Um, we stopped at eight real quick, now we're coming down. We actually found our first running water of the day. So we are filling up. Matt's about to filter some water here. Uh, that's about it. We're, we've got some areas ahead over this way. We're thinking they might be. If we get over there and it's dry and there's not much sign, we might, we're gonna drop down low and uh, see if they're bedding lower. Seems a little dry, although there's water up here, but not much, I guess, so. Seems the lower we go, the more sign we've been finding, so. I think we might go with that here, so. Um, give you a look around where we're at. We are headed that way, where the timber's a little darker. Gonna follow it down the mountain, which is that direction. Here's our water that we found. That's where we're gonna fill up. Matt's filtering. Day two, evening update. It's uh, what, a little after four? Yeah. <laughs> Something after four. We've put on like four hard miles today and have barely seen or anything. We haven't heard anything. No bugles, nothing. Um, saw, I don't know, six rubs maybe. Yeah. Um, it's been really slow. They're all old too. I mean, within the last couple of weeks, but nothing Last really week, fresh. Yeah, no. So we are, we dropped down the bottom of this ridge. We're down by this meadow, maybe see behind us. And uh, we texted the other guys. We're trying to get a ride. See, it's an easier, not easier, I wouldn't say, shorter hike out to the trail and down to the trailhead. Yeah. which is on the way to our next spot we're hoping they're gonna come pick us up uh, in reach messages aren't sending very quick our responses aren't coming in quick so um, we'll see hopefully it pays out that would also give us a chance to go over this down to the trail and Thank see you. if there's any elk over there um, so we're gonna head we gotta head this way which I believe would be like west yeah. um, Got to head that way, and either the dog days. Yeah, either from there, <laughs> we're gonna go either down to the trail or up to the truck. So stay tuned. Um, we're having fun; it's just oh, yeah. tough. So uh, let you know what happens. Good news. Sir. Alright, we got MTV Cribs, Colorado Backcountry Edition, Episode 2. You guys saw Matt's tent? This is my tent, Fred's tent. Uh, it's very similar. We have the Kuyu tent, mine's orange. Um, sleeping bag here, pillow. I got some clothes in the sleeping bag. Hopefully we'll dry overnight. Um, over in the corner here, I got some gear, just my... Uh, lid for my pack some random stuff in it my pistol over there 
uh, boots, calls. Um, so Matt and I just hit a location bugle for before bed. Did not get a response. So I left the calls here. We're going to hit one in the morning before we leave. Hopefully get something. Uh, I got my pack over here in the corner. Just laying there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get some rest tonight and uh, get up tomorrow and uh, hike out. Hopefully meet the other guys at the trailhead. All right, good morning. It's our morning update for uh, Tuesday the 7th. Uh, we are on Silver Creek Trail. We're actually Camp Deadhead, somewhere we camped in 2019. So we camped last night down the trail. We walked this morning about 1.8 miles. And uh, we're stopping here where you can see behind me here the trail crosses the Silver Creek here. Um, I'll show you the spot in a, in a minute, but uh, we're... Hiking out, we did uh, 1.8 miles already. We got another four and a half, I think, to the trailhead. The other guys, I think, are coming to pick us up. We can't seem to get an answer on when. So uh, hopefully they're gonna come pick us up. So we figured stop here, it's a cool spot. We've been here before. So we got our tents drying. Take a look at that. Matt's mixing up breakfast. So these are, Matt's and mine are uh, floors for our tents. I got pretty wet last night somehow. It didn't rain or anything, but um, we put them on our trekking poles to dry. And we also have our crush lights. We've been using them a good bit at night. So we got them charging. Uh, here's our, our gear here, my stuff. I got my breakfast mixed up. Matt's gonna show you his there breakfast. You we're both eating, uh, what is it, blueberries with granola? Yeah. Or other way around, granola with blueberries? Same thing. Yeah, so we just put some boiled water in here. Mix it around a little bit. Seal it up, let it cook for a few minutes. All right, we'll be good. A couple more minutes, we'll be eating breakfast. So, enjoy some of this sun. Today probably won't be much of a hunting day. Mm -mm. We're going to get a ride to the other trailhead. Hopefully hike in. I don't know what time we'll get over there. Uh, might be hiking in in the morning. So today's kind of uh, just a travel day. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Might not be much update today. So we'll, uh, no. we'll see how it goes. We'll, Looking we'll, forward to the next few days. Hopefully get up to Camp Mountain time. Yeah, we're going to meet up with the other guys and actually hunt with the other guys. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Splitting up, yeah. Our goal is to uh, camp together and then split up in some teams during the day and just day hunt from our spike camp at Camp Mountaintop. So see how those uh, first timers feel. After yeah, yeah. Days. We're curious to talk to the other guys, see how they're feeling. Um, you know, hear their stories, what they've been seeing and yeah. doing, and it'll be fun. So uh, hopefully, we'll have an update from Camp Mountaintop here soon. All right, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, September 8th. This is our morning update. It is 4.30 in the morning. We're already on the trail. It's a little cold. Uh, last night, we were about to hike in, go into one area, and Matt, of all people, looked up and saw a bull and a cow way up on top of the hill, the opposite side of Sarvis Creek that we were planning on going to. So, change of plans. We went back to camp lightened our packs because they were way too heavy. We uh, did the buddy system. We split some weight. We're a lot less weight now, which is good. We're hiking in. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Hollywood <laughs> for our plan for today. Can't really see you. That's how you just gotta hear him. You don't wanna see me. Oh, okay. That looks eerie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like it. Looks like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> There's these weird crosses hanging everywhere. Uh, well, uh, I guess um, we're heading out. Uh, Freddie's kind of banged up. He's playing hurt. So My knee is jacked. Mad creds to Freddie. Um, we're heading up the trail. We couldn't really figure out where the heck to go because there is no good way to get to the bulls that Matt miraculously saw last night. Um, so we're just kind of taking a flyer on going up a trail. And Fredo said there is an alleged, alleged, alleged horse trail off of the trail that we're on. So we're going to get up there. And uh, I don't know if we know what we're going to do when we get up there, but we're going to check it and see what happens so let's go get him that's not right <laughs> is that blinding you a little bit honestly the video looks awesome to film yeah. i know it's probably bright as could be but the video looks great Wait, suck it Super. are we rolling yeah because right. it, it has to for the light to be on it has to be oh yeah, rolling, yeah. Uh, all right, well, quick update. We're going to wait till uh, daylight, but Freddy thought it'd be better than blind me. So um, <laughs> we finally made it to the bridge, the alleged horse trail. We haven't located it yet, but hey, you know, maybe we'll find a pot of gold. Trail. Trail. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Um, we've been weaving in and out of horse turds. <laughs> That's been a little rough, um, but for the most part, it's a pretty smooth hike. Uh, we thought for a second that a tree was going to fall on us, but it didn't. Yep, here we go. But God. Um, yeah, I don't know. Fatigue's starting to set in a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but like I, I told them on the way up here, I, I could climb the mountain or I could lay down and go to sleep right here. Right here. So we're just trying to gut it out. But I was up singing Thomas Rudd at like 3 a.m. <laughs> um, I haven't been this skippy since my dad had the paper route when we were kids. <laughs> Pour some sugar on me. Come on, we just drank it. Some Shane, I think, cracked a bush. Had one down by 3.30, so it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Let's get after it. Got this savage going up the mountain on one leg. And we got this dude with strawberries and cream chap stay. It's sweet watermelon. <laughs> it's sweet watermelon. These are getting even better than those aspens. Dude, this is really nice on this camera. Yeah, that's awesome. Somewhere up that way. That's the caller, Fred and Shane, and shoot and the film. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I told you, hey, we told you this morning. Today was the day. It was going to be a good day. Tommy Red and Bush at 3 a.m. It was bound to be a good day. Let's see what happens.
spread it around. Fade that green in a little bit. There's, it's like caked all of them.
a leftover paint, like I said, it's a quad. Serious globs. If you sit, put your trekking pole down, it'll stop you. Ah. Once you hit that dirt, you should be good. You can hold on to this tree. <laughs> oh. This was sucking the day. I got a video of you hung down to <laughs> good memory. Maybe. <laughs> hey, it's sucking the memory, but it'll be all worth it. Good stories. Alright, here I'll hold this one while you're going. You guys mind sliding down yeah, a little bit? Yeah, let's give it up. Yeah, come in. Coming in hot. Coming like a wrecking ball. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, you got a long leg. You be going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you you'll be. Step down. Yeah, you just step down. You can grab that tree up on the hill. <laughs> just lower himself slowly. <sighs> There's two horses? Is he raking the ground? I only saw one. I don't know. All right. It's uh, it's Wednesday the 8th. Here he goes. It's been a roller coaster of a day. We're lucky just to be out alive, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm grateful that we're out here alive. But it has been eventful. Um, I don't even know where to start. I'll start with the end. <laughs> We're just trying to get to camp. That's all we want to do. We've done what, 12 miles? Is that what we, 12, 12 right. miles? 12 plus. 12 plus miles. And we just hiked down like like the, the, the Devil's Canyon. And we were lucky to get out of there alive. 
and we, you know, we're coming down the trail. Sweet relief. We hear the creek. We're going to go filter water because we're just about out. And what do you know? We walk down the trail and there's a freaking horse tied across the middle of the trail. I'll tell you something about the horse. He's got a crazed look in his eye, okay? He must have heard Shane talking about horse meat earlier, okay? In either case, we're just trying to get to the water so we can filter and we can get to camp. In retrospect, pray for us. <laughs> Another update to come. But it won't make it. Yeah, if, if, if you find Fred's phone, just know. It was the horse. We tried. <laughs> it was the horse. <laughs> Okay, um, it is Thursday the 9th, um, it's like 12.30, we hiked up um, and put up a spike camp, um, but we didn't talk about yesterday at all, because yesterday was just, it was madness, it was complete madness. Um, so we started out the day on, I mean, is it safe to call that a death hike? I know you guys have called that a, a, a death hike in the past, yeah. but like that was a death hike, right? In and out. Um, so we started out the day yesterday, going to a spot where Matt saw a bull on Tuesday. Um, and it was a freaking hike. Uh, and to get there, it was, it's like a two day hike. So we worked our way up there and when we were going, we found a ton of sign and I believe there's a video of us like walking up to a, a bench that we thought was going to be really good. Um, ton of sign, ton of scat, found a wallow, did all of that. Um, but on our way up there, we look up and like, my goodness, was it a trek. And we're like a hundred yards from the spot where we need to get to. We think there's going to be a bull in there. And what do you know? We look up and there's a hunter standing on the ridge. And we're like, oh, are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> So we're like, well, change, change plans. And I'll tell you what, it was tough. Like we had to gather ourselves. We had to rally, but we did it. Um, and we worked our way down the hill and we did a calling set and we thought maybe we'd run into something. Um, and if we didn't, we thought like, okay, we'll just keep going to the spot where we were going uh, back by the truck, way up on the ridge. We did the calling set and we looked at each other and realized like, oh my gosh, like we can't get there. Can't do it. And we had a moment where... I mean, it's safe to say we had to gather ourselves and like, we were down, down bad, uh, but we, we rallied and we we're like, okay, we're just going to head back out. We're going to go up to the direction of Camp Mountaintop or whatever. So we did. Uh, and when we got like three quarters of the way down, got into a little bit of action. Matt saw, he jumped the cow, right? Jumped the cow and we we're kind of back in the game, you know, kind of back in the game. And we kept working our way down the hill and Shane just threw a bugle out for fun because we're, we're hunting out and he got a call back and we're like that's my first bugle in the woods is that your yeah, first, bugle, first in bugle in the woods yep. yeah so we were pretty psyched about it um and Shane called back and forth a little bit with him and then we lost him then we got to the bottom of the hill um in this meadow kind of at the bottom of the drainage and he bugled and my goodness intense so intense so me and Shane took off he was the caller, I was the shooter, and we take off down into this meadow, and at first we weren't really sure, we thought maybe it was a hunter, or maybe it could be a bull, I don't know, and we get down there and this bull just screams at us, and I don't know about you, but like my hair was standing up on the back of my neck, super intense, um, and we start chasing him, and he bugles, and he's like a mile away, I'm thinking like, what the heck just happened? And, and I wasn't sure at first if it was a bull or a hunter, but as fast as he got away, we we're thinking, like, has to be, has to be a bull, 100%. Um, so he got away, but it was super intense, awesome encounter. And it was my first and Shane's first encounter with a bull, so it was really cool. Um, and we hiked out, and I think I chronicled that in our other video from last night. But it was eventful. We made it out, put up camp. What do we call that? Desperation. Camp, camp Desperation. Because um, we were just cooked, totally cooked. 
and we had to filter water. It was a nightmare, okay? But we rallied. We're in good spirits, and Shane's going to talk about what our plan is for today. Hey, don't don't forget to mention we heard a, heard a bugle this morning from camp. Early this morning. I was just, like, waking up. Matt's alarm went off. Fred's alarm went off, and I just laid there. Um, <laughs> and I'm laying there just trying to get myself gathered, and we heard, like, a pretty mean bugle come down from the slope above us. Um, and so Matt and Fred were kind of getting ready to roll. They threw a bugle out there and didn't get any, any response, but I'm pretty sure that was a legit bugle too. Um, cause it was pretty mean, but it didn't, it didn't turn into anything, but Hey, we can run into him up on top of this ridge later today. So, um, we also named the knife, the bench made knife. All right. I'm going to talk about that too. Um, <laughs> we named the bench made knife. It's Fredo's knife. Okay. And I don't think we've talked about this yet, but yesterday we talked about how Freddie was gutting it out. Okay. He's gutting it out in a real big way because there's like a decent chance Freddie tore his ACL on Monday. Okay. Um, and he's just laboring and we'll get into that, but he's been gutting it out, moving as quick as we are. Um, but we have the bench made knife and the, and the born and raised guys name their knife every time they go out. Um, so we've been kicking some ideas around and I don't know if it's a consensus, but it seemed like a good idea. Um, we came up with the name King Arthur. Okay. Well, me and Freddie were walking down the hill last night and we were talking about baby names, um, for his little boy that's on the way. And he told, I asked him if he was going to name him Fred the third. And he said they were kicking around names and I didn't know that Fred's name was Arthur or I'm sorry, Fred's middle name was Arthur. Um, and Fred's dad's middle name is Arthur. So we were just thinking like, man. We feel like right now we're trying to pull the sword out of the stone and Freddie is just gutting this mountain out and he's, to me, he's the king of the mountain. So we're calling the knife King, king Arthur, Arthur, man, Arthur. King Arthur. It just feels right. And tonight we're gonna pull that sword out of the stone and uh, we're gonna down a bull and Shane's gonna tell you how we're gonna do it. All right, so we're gonna go up here, climb up some elevation as the uh, thermals are going uphill. And then once the thermals change, we're gonna hunt down in the drainages and uh we're gonna hopefully get on a bull here tonight That's i like it shane you want to show a spike camp spike camp we got my tent here this, tent is this, nick's. this is nick's tent here nick's tent's here matt's tent matt's tent and i had to put my tent over here all by myself <laughs> wait for freedom <laughs> wait for freedom to camp in the meadow
Another one, another one. On? Yep, we're good. All right, update, folks. It's uh, it's been a day. We'll say we uh, last talked to you. We were safely, happily, healthy, energetic at camp, and uh, here we are at the bottom of a ravine, gathering whatever water we can. Fire! Uh, Nick's getting bit by spiders. Thankfully, it wasn't a snake because. Yeah, you would have been shooting up the place. You would know. But uh, so here we are. It was hot today. Very, very hot. We all lost a ton of fluids. Um, pretty much went through all of our snacks and water. I pretty much ran out of water. So thankfully, we finally found a stream. Um, we made it all the way to Camp Mountaintop, which was awesome. The views were cool as always. These guys got to see the giant fire from 2016, which I think they enjoyed. Um, we've got a couple pictures on top, uh, hopefully an updated Bulls in that profile pic. Um, we made the cut, Shane. Shane, he's an official member now. Yeah, buddy. His tryout the last few days went well, to say the <laughs> least, so we're going to keep him around, I guess. So, uh, um, after the Camp Mountaintop, we ate some food, got some more energy, and then... Uh, Decided to take two paths down the mountain and meet at camp. That was the plan. Um, we didn't get in there till later than we wanted to because it took so long to get up there because it was so hot and just the blowdowns. Pro tip 273 if you don't want to walk over blowdowns, go to a different state because Colorado sucks. Our pants, Shane now has obsidian shorts. <laughs> I uh, got some tape on mine from today, so just uh, be ready to not be able to feel your legs. Uh, anyway, so it took us a while uh, to get down up the mountain, and then we lost time. And then by the time we dropped down the mountain, the thermals were coming down because the north-facing timber was so heavy, which was good because they probably were in there at some point. But as soon as we dropped in to do some calling, we could feel the temperature and our scent just drawing down. So we kind of just moved quickly to different wallows we had marked and the wallows were pretty dried up because it's been so dry around here. So we uh, did that and then it was getting to be about dark and me and Nick were coming down the mountain on our side and we were like, ah, we should probably get water at the creek. So we went to find water where we got it in 2019 and it was pretty dried up. We kind of shifted some rocks around and dug a trench so we could get a better flow. So we filled up some water from there. And then as we were leaving there, we looked down at our navigation on Onyx and low power mode came up on our phone. And we were running and gunning today, lightweight. So neither of us brought a battery charger. And Freddie had my phone to use the inReach. So we had one phone with pretty much no battery. 
all the way out here. So thankfully we uh, sent out an SOS to these guys, Fred and Shane, as they were coming down the other side of the mountain, kind of picked out a point that we thought that we might be close to each other. And uh, thank God they got our message and said, yep, we'll be there, send us the coordinates. So copied the coordinates out of Onyx and sent it into the uh, inReach. And thank God they were only like 0.1 mile above us. So we, we uh, Shane had a, saved our lives. Yeah. They saved our lives. They're yeah, first it, responders. It, they're first responders. We, we owe them. We're indebted. <laughs> Um, it definitely puts the trip into perspective when you think you might be stranded eight miles from the truck for a little while. We had some snacks. I ate most of my snacks today, of course, but uh, Nick had some snacks and a fire starter. So we were going to make it, but we were just hoping somebody found us sooner than later. So that was our evening. Those other guys will have to update you uh, since we left them at like 5.30 or 6, but Nick and I are just happy to be alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully we get to see something tomorrow, but at this point we're going home <laughs> alive. <laughs> get to see our kids. So Can't wait to hear from Fredo and Coach. Though. Can't wait to hear from Fredo and Coach. We're meeting them at camp. We sent an SOS to them too. Of course they didn't respond. It's been days. <laughs> so, Dad texted But they need us. water, so... <laughs> They need water, but they made sure that, yeah, we found them water. Um, so maybe we'll have a talk to them about the uh, in-reach system. But anyway, so we're safe, and uh, we're heading back to camp to eat some food before bed, hopefully get some good rest, and uh, hit it low in the morning. Hopefully we find some sign, low, low, low. If not, then we're going to head to the truck, jump in, drive a few hours, <laughs> get a shower, <laughs> eat some real food, and then... Uh, Head on home. Shane just wants to sit on his toilet and drink a six pack. So <laughs> we're going to get him there. Some Amen, wings. brother. Uh, <laughs> I want some chicken wings. Yep, it. there we go. <laughs> Closing that out. Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's about three o'clock already today. It's our first video of the day. We've had a little bit of a busy morning. Uh, we got up at camp this morning about 5.30. Uh, we sat and listened for a while and actually heard two or three maybe bulls bugling so uh, we split up shane and i went one way matt and nick went the other uh, they had some better action they uh sound like we could hear them bugling back and forth with the one bull a few times um, they didn't get eyes on them but they had some action at least uh, shane and i went down the other direction and uh, thought we heard a bull. We still think it was a bull. Uh, I was making some weird noises, like some uh, moaning and like low chuckles, uh, a little strange, but uh, we waited for the wind to change. We went in and uh, found nothing at all. No sign, called a little bit, had no response, anything. So um, we've just been kind of hiking, looking for sign. Uh, Matt and Nick found some fresh sign fresher sign than what we've been seeing at least in the meadows so shane and i've basically been kind of doing that just hiking looking for some sign uh we took a break ate lunch in a nice shady spot on the side of a meadow uh we've been hiking up this drainage we found a really good spot for water so we're doing that now and uh i think we're just gonna keep hiking and uh, looking for sign so we've got a couple hours left of daylight and uh meet the other guys back at camp tonight hopefully Maybe tonight we can get on one. I think today might be our last day. I think we're going to hike out in the morning. So uh, tonight's the night.
Uh, okay, morning update. Um, morning, folks. It is Saturday the 11th. Um, is it? It is. Oh, yeah, September 11th. So. oh it is September 11th. Um, on a serious note, we went on in the following this morning. It's 20 year anniversary. 20 year anniversary wow. of 9 11. Um, you guys remember where you were? Yep. Yeah. I was in Mrs. Taylor's fourth grade class. We were, we watched it live on TV. Um, wow. Crazy. 20 years later. 20 years later. Um, Shane was barely born. Yeah, Shane. Shane, I think, was born that day. <laughs> um, yeah, we honor the following day. So um, we also honor the first responders and um, the people who led our country through a very difficult time. Thank you. Um, quick morning recap. Uh, we... I did a quick morning recap yesterday, really brief, because when we woke up, um, we were hearing some elk bugle, and we took off our running. Um, <clears throat> I said in my morning update yesterday, it felt like the woods woke up. Oh, man, was I wrong? Uh, we had some elk bugle yesterday morning, for sure. So we took off uh, kind of back down the hill, um, and we had an elk bugle with us, me and Matt, that is. Um, and then Shane and Fred split off and they were kind of figuring out their next play because, um, they gave us a chance to go after the elk that was bugling near us. Um, and me and Matt got down there and I mean, he was right there. He was right there, but it just seems like there's something that is hanging the elk up. It was a lot like, um, Wednesday night when me and Shane went after the elk that was bugling and chuckling at us. I mean, that was the strangest thing. We were talking about it last night. Um, Wednesday night, we got this elk bugling at us, and it, it, it chuckled. And then it just took off, like like running. Like it was, you know, like challenge to a bar fight split. So, like, I don't know. Um, we got down there, and we got set up, and I mean, our setup was perfect. It was perfect. Matt was up the hill um, just ever so slightly. It was still morning, so thermals were falling, and Matt was calling li like a madman. Um up this ravine to the south and we're thinking he's going to come down but he just never did uh so we started looking around and we found wallows everywhere in this meadow um so we made a mental note marked it on onyx and uh decided to take off up the mountain a little bit and we i mean we covered a ridiculous amount of ground in a short amount of time um, we made our way up the hill and I think we were traveling, what, straight south, Matty boy? And um, we heard an elk bugle. So we checked the wind, booked it up the hill, and got set up on this flat. Um, and our setup was perfect. We're getting ready to do a call set. And I go to put my bow on, put my hand, left hand through the wristling, and it just slides up my bow. It's like, what? And I look down, and my stabilizer fell off. It's gone. It's still gone. No stabilizer. So, we're going to get after an elk today, and we're going to shoot it without a stabilizer. Okay? Um, we got one morning left, and we're going to get after it. Um, before I sew up today's morning update, after we lost my stabilizer, and by we, I mean me, we took off way up the mountain. Um, we, we hoofed it hard yesterday. And we came back down and uh, we got like deep into another flat. And it was perfect, like perfect. We were thinking there's gonna be an elk in here. It's flat, it's dark timber, it's, it's real heavy. There's enough moisture, you know. And we start a call set again. And Matt was just absolutely mangling the tree, raking it. Um, he's got the scars to prove it, but um, we got a response and we got all hopped up, you know, like kids on Christmas and we take off after this bull and we get set up again. And honestly, I mean, Matt, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but like we thought for sure bulls coming in, the setup is perfect. We're going to plunk this thing. Um, we're calling bulls, calling back, calling bulls, calling back. Then all of a sudden... <laughs> We hear something. We hear a glunking. <laughs> and I was like, is that a glunk? Somebody glunking? Is that a bull glunking? Um, we look up the hill and I was like, 
there's gotta be, like, that can't be, right? And uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and finally, I see a person standing up there. <laughs> we were just like, <laughs> and then <laughs> we hear a bugle that sounded like somebody zipping a zipper. And I was like, <laughs> it's Shane. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, it was Shane. Um, so we went up, we met with Shane and Fred, talked the game plan, um, and went and sat that meadow again where we saw all those wallows, which is where we're headed right now. Um, Freddie heard some bugles this morning. Uh, so we got one morning left. We got a couple hours before we have to pack out and head to the truck. So throw caution to the wind, okay? It only takes one, right? It only takes one. We got one morning left. There's one bull out there for us, and uh, we're going to embrace it. That's my credo. <laughs> um, big update to come. Okay, I think we're going to do a little campfire update with uh, the whole crew in a little bit. So, see you guys soon.